I'm going to have this morning, I'm going to have somebody come and share as part of our church in a blended family, uh, a blended racial family. And uh, she was able to share at the Puyallup School Board um, and to address the critical race theory horse garbage um, that needs to be addressed. And so I wanted her to come and be able to share what she shared with the school board. So will you come, Brenda? Thank you, Pastor Dennis. I appreciate that. Um, just want to do a preface on this. Look, this is based on personal opinion. And um, I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts. All right, so thank you for the East Coast. <laughs> So the thing is, our culture, and I want to benchmark, our culture is different from the West. And that's the bottom line I want you guys to think about. It's not the race, nor the color. It's the culture that makes us different. And I want to do this. So let me continue on from here. Critical race theory purpose is to, is to demoralize and divide humanity. It will hurt interracial families, putting a wedge between the different races in the family. Having the child think they would not be valued from their parents, who are different race from the other parent. No child should be put in that mental status. It does not offer a purpose for your life. It kills hope and the reason to live. In the 1960s, as a black American woman from Boston, raised by a grandmother who came from the Caribbean with an eighth grade education, I was raised to believe I can accomplish anything no matter what challenges was facing me. Surprisingly, my challenges were not from white teachers or white people within my community but from my black American peers, taunting me because of not making good grades and my physical appearance. A Boston local newspaper when I was attending college in the 70s reported how black students who were making A's and B's, grades dropped to C's and D's. Wondered why. Surprised to read, our peers were bullying them, beating them up and calling them Uncle Tom. Sadly, what I have learned the black community we were supposed to stick together because the white people did not want us to succeed was a farce for me. I kept wondering why my peers who taunt and bully us who'd wanted to become what we dreamed to become. My aunt took me by surprise when she asked me what I was planning to study in college. I had a passion for animals and wanted to pursue becoming a vet technician. My aunt responded back to me asking why I wanted to do a white man's job. I was speechless. I said to myself, what is a white man's job? Regretfully, teaching critical race theory in our schools will have the same effect from what I experienced growing up. It would put in the mind of our students today that they have nothing to contribute to society. They are not considered value because of their race. Whites will think they are oppressors and blacks always the victim. All these years of motivating our students that they have potential to become anything they want to be, encouraging them that their transitional periods of their lives, moving from grade to grade, then emotionally realizing college is ahead of them, or work or military service. We would shoot that down, teaching critical race theory. So my solution was to let us get back to teaching the principal tools that would help our children qualify for college or obtain employment or start their own business. Let us get back to helping them navigate what career goals they are trying to achieve. Start introducing students to various cultures who had a positive impact in building our country. So for an example, Ben Carson, cardiologist, Jesse Norman, black opera singer, the women who was chosen to work for NASA, Latinos, African-Americans, Native Americans, and many more. Add books and school literate libraries of those who have accomplished positive impact and how they succeed in various professions. One book in mind, which I introduced in my show, was called Pulse of Perseverance. It's an inspirational story of what can be accomplished with dedication, the support of people with similar goals, and the investment from institutions dedicated to black success. This book is the North Star for every black child who sees something greater for himself than the world would have for him believe. We do not have a problem with white supremacy, nor do we need to teach critical race theory. What is lacking, or should I say being stripped away, is teaching the basic principles of humanity, respect for each other, forgiveness, understanding, and the love for each other. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda.